There's a couple things you should know if you are the executor of an estate or the administrator of a state and you have to sell real estate. The first thing is just being nominated as an executor in an estate is not enough that will and a petition for probate has to be filed with the Register of Wills Office. The Register of Wills Office will then issue what are called letters testamentary and a short certificate that proves to the rest of the world that you have the authority to act on behalf of that estate. At settlement, when you're selling the real estate as an executor or administrator, there will be an escrow for inheritance taxes. So unpaid inheritance tax can be a lien on real estate, regardless of who owns the real estate. So even though that buyer may own the real estate, months later, the Department of Revenue could levy a lien for unpaid inheritance taxes, and that lien would still be a valid lien against the buyer's real estate. So that's why inheritance tax estimate is calculated prior to closing and then out of sellers proceeds one and a half times that inheritance tax amount is escrowed and held. It will be held by the title company or the attorney that's conducting the settlement for the buyer. It will be held until the Department of Revenue issues an appraisement, which happens after the inheritance tax return is filed. And the appraisement basically just says that the Department of Revenue has accepted the return and the inheritance tax is paid in full. After that, the escrow will be released back to the estate to be distributed to the beneficiaries. If you have any other questions regarding being an executor or administrator of an estate, please feel free to reach out to Stock and Leader.